Here I am with my good friend, Sonia Lee. She is a virtuoso violinist, and uh, she has worked for me through the years playing her instrument in so many different ways I can't even begin to explain. She was part of the Armenian Trilogy in that you lent your creative ability to all three movements of this music, and it was fabulous, I have to tell you. I'm so glad to be sitting here with you, to be able to talk to these people, to tell them how you know, you've shared in this enterprise, and also to uh, maybe talk a little bit about you. You were in the uh, Toronto Symphony. Yes. And you were the principal violinist. Yes, I but was. But this is while you went to Juilliard. Um, I was just shy of one month graduation, um, and my parents sort of really inspired me to get a job right out of school if I was going to be a musician. And so they sent my resume, tried out uh, for the Toronto Symphony, and I won the job. And then I graduated Juilliard and I flew to Toronto. How, how old were you? I was 21. Wow. <laughs> Tell us about your experiences with uh, Yo-Yo Ma and Leonard Bernstein, for example. Oh, yes. Yo-Yo Ma I first heard play when I was 12 and I immediately was drawn to his musical integrity, mm -hmm. but also his magnitude of artistry in so much as that he was multifaceted. He was just really, truly an inspiration. And that led me to a fellowship program with the Boston Symphony one summer, and that's where I met Leonard Bernstein, and he completely changed my career path. Uh, I think we started working together, was it 18, 19 years ago or something? Yes, I moved here from Toronto 18 years ago, and. Um, soon after that, I was called to perform in a quartet um, at your studio for a recording, and um, not too long after that, it was the U of M Victor's U of M Hospital commercial, which was right. extremely moving. Yeah, people uh, will always ask who is playing violin <clears throat> in that piece, and it was violin and vibra harp or whatever playing this arrangement of the Victor's. You brought so much to that, and it was beautiful. that the Armenian Trilogy really allowed me to utilize all my gifts. It, well, it was really serendipitous. You way. used, I think, so many gifts within that piece. And one of the striking examples, uh, if I could take a minute, and maybe you could play a little bit of something for us, is that second movement where uh, you, you suggested using a weighted bow. Can you explain yes. what the difference is between a weighted bow and a non-weighted bow? Yes. Um, most bows, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, most of the bows that are made are circular. But this particular bow um, is extremely heavy and it's shaped um, octagonally. So it does have a much more soloistic in my opinion, mm -hmm. but um, this is the same bow that won me my job with the Toronto Symphony and as the principal, and also it got me into Juilliard. And it's my lucky bow. I love this bow. And so when I first read the score of mm -hmm. Armenian Trilogy, and especially the second movement, I knew I had to use this heavier weighted bow. So can you show us what, sure. how this goes now? So this one in particular has the ability to really get that guttural, demonic, diabolical sound, mm -hmm. which, uh, you know, in orchestras you want to really blend into the section, but this really has the unique ability to express that emotion clearly from the very first second you hear it. I mean, that's bad. Can you place a little of anything else that symphonically we would uh, recognize? Sure. with the um, spiccato section. How about a little country music? Sure. So, um, I know that... Uh, I'm sorry to country, put country you on music, the spot. But... No, I mean, I, I love country music, and if I was Caucasian and had blonde hair and blue eyes, I would, <laughs> I would do it in a heartbeat, but I'm not. But I, I do remember there was this one time uh, my brother was in a hockey team, mm -hmm. and his coach really loved country music and said, could you play some Charlie Daniels, The Devil Went Down in Georgia? What? And I grabbed my violin, and I just remember going... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
I think it's wonderful that you've been able to participate in this music, uh, you along with uh, some other great players from Detroit, with yes. Walter White on trumpet. And yes. Sarah Cleveland did a phenomenal job, along with uh, David Taylor on percussion. This has been such a treat for me to have you involved with this music and be, to be able to help guide me as a person who needs all the help that they can get. Well, the composition was at really the highest merit of artistry, and I, it was an honor for me. To thank, thank you, Simon. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy our content, please comment, like, subscribe, whatever. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, check out danyessian.com for all the latest content and information. Ciao for now.